Hello and welcome to the My Menu Help Center. In this video, let's dive into modifiers and how they work. Modifiers allow the users to customize their order and add different options like toppings, flavors, add-ons, and others. You'll also be able to limit how much the customer can order and if a specific item is required to complete the order. Let's start with going to a menu and finding a simple item to demo it with. A good example would be a burger. So in a burger meal, you'll want different options, like say, if they want extra cheese, no lettuce, comes with fries, etc. Now to set that all up, we'll have to go into the modifier section on the left side of the screen. Here, you can create and manage all your modifiers. Now create a modifier by pressing the create button. Add the name of the modifier, then press add modifier to add options. In this example, I'll add cheese and it'll be a dollar. I could then add another option like say lettuce for another dollar and extra patties for good measure. Now, this switch on the left allows you to enable and disable modifiers at will. Use this if you want to hide an option without deleting it so you could enable for future use. As soon as you're done, press save. I'll create another modifier called add-ons this time and I'll add the usual fries and drinks options. Okay, now that all of those is set up, let's go back to the specific item in the menu and assign these modifiers to it. When you click on edit, at the lower section, you could see option sets. Click add option set to add a modifier. Select the modifier you want, and then add the maximum and minimum number of selections allowed. If it's a required modifier, select yes. If it's optional, then just leave it at no. You can add multiple option sets by pressing the button again. And then you hit update to save the changes. And that's it! You now have your modifiers done and configured. You can view the menu on your phone or tablet to see how the options look like and adjust it accordingly.